Und Kaffee. Kaffee. Today is journaling, mental health, working out, then content creating. Even though I'm making a video right now. I've been trying to think like, what are good and what are bad date ideas? I'm not going on any dates, but I just mean like friend dates also. Just like when you're trying to make friends, you want to hit the person up and be like, you want to do this? The issue is I have this major aversion to small talk. So the ideal friend date would be something that is engaging, but allows us playful banter or a conversation if we like. Those are the parameters. I have been asking people to go to yoga with me just because I go to yoga. But the truth is like, that's not a great like friend hangout. And then there's coffee. There's getting coffee together. But to be honest, getting coffee is just a little too, too much of a date vibe park. That's the ideal friend actual date, friend date, anything, to park. You can go with your friends, you can sit in the park, you can bring some wine, you can chill, you can listen to music, you can bring a sports ball. Sports ball! Feeling stiff. Okay, love you. I'm gonna look at whippets on four hours of sleep. What does one wear to a dog race? They have little dogs on them. Something chill. I feel like you want to seem like you have money. Or should I go for sexy? Why do our standards have to be so high as gay men? Look at them. Funny, funny. She's a half litter mate. Yeah. A lot of people have, say that. Have people have said that? Like okay. baby deer. Like baby deer, exactly. Mm. So this is kind of the rough and tumble stuff that okay. they do. Um, this is fun for them. Is it all whippets today? It's all my whippets. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, we are in the boonies. I don't even know what the name of this town is. They're like mythical creatures. Like they're very stoic. And then they just, they do this bounce. They get like excited. And then they do this bounce and like jump as high as your head. These races they're doing right now are 35 miles an hour plus, which is nuts. The breeder lady said that like you absolutely, no matter when, have to keep them on a leash. Cause if they see a deer or something, they're gone. I mean, you'd have to be in a car to catch one of these dogs. This is like an amateur race, so I think it's, it's like in someone's backyard, but whatever, gotta start somewhere. People are like staying out here in the RVs. Came in from out of state, like from up north, New England, all that stuff. How does it work? Does someone pull this off? It's usually right here. Yet. Can I eat pasta every night or no? What are y'all eating? I get these like pre-made pasta things. Cherry Joe's is the best ones. Can I just eat this every night? I'm fine with it. All right. Or can I just eat pasta every single night and once a week eat a salad? Pasta every night? Don't Italians eat pasta every night? It's my little ego inside that's like, branch out, try something new. If I'm good, I'm good. If I feel good, I look good, I'm good. 
So the answer to my question, I guess, is eat pasta every night until I don't feel good about it anymore. Fuck yeah. I'm buying all the Annie's chilies I can find, all the easy to make soups I can find, all the lunch dinner items that take three minutes boiled in a pot and they're ready to go. Because I love that shit. Y'all never get this view of the kitchen. I had a roommate tell me that if you pour boiling water into your sink, it'll like warp the sink. So every time I pour hot water out, I like put cold water on. That sounds like one of those things your parents tell you when you get older, you're like, that doesn't make any damn sense. One that I'm still not sure is true and I still do all the time is whenever I run the garbage disposal, I always put water on while I run it, I don't know. So I started making my way through this Russian horror movies list. Last night I watched the only horror movie made during the Soviet Union, during the USSR. It's called V. V-I-Y. I love any format of horror movie, you know what I mean? I just like the formula of a horror movie. I don't care what it's about, the quality of it. I love camp. I love any horror because I just like the formula, you know? It'd be the worst movie in the world and I'm going to find it entertaining. I'll know it's a bad movie, you know? But like Killer Clowns from Outer Space, that shit's corn the fuck up. And I love it. I don't know if it was a period thing or what, but the portrayal of just like the average straight citizen of these villages in that horror movie was pretty gay by modern American standards. It was all kissing each other on the cheeks. And the neck, actually. He was kissing him on the neck. He was like, yes, do it. Give her a blessing. Like, kissing her, kiss him on the neck. I've been like, ah. But, so there's that. And then there's also the fact that there's that portrayal, like a painting, of an actual meeting between Alexander the Great and Napoleon where they're kissing on the lips. I get it. Culture, time is different. But, hell. I would love a historical fiction novel about Napoleon Alexander the Great romance. Like, give me details. I want them fucking. I want them fucking. That Alexander the Great was murdered with his entire family in the basement of some summer house for ruining the government or something. And I kind of like the idea of Napoleon like causing that because Alexander the Great cheated on him or was gonna leave his wife and they were gonna have this gay country together. Maybe that's too far, but those are my thoughts and I just want to share them with you guys. They're like, Add your favorite sauce. Um, you mean olive oil, salt, and pepper? Okay. <laughs> Mom, my vegan ravioli's wet. Y'all should comment some things that like, you said when you were a kid, like little, and then your family just never stopped quoting them to you for your entire life. Y'all, turn on the light, I can't smell my fart. <laughs> Let's see what Russian horror movie we got on the docket tonight. Tonight we're watching Solaris. When I was in Japan, every time I went to a movie theater to watch a movie. Everyone in the audience of the movie would stay all the way through the credits. As soon as those credits are rolling, I'm up and out. I miss every after the credits thing ever. I'm already proud of myself for making it through the whole movie. I'm not gonna sit through credits. 